Greetings, fellow bridge lovers, and welcome to the CBO Daylong, a daylong tournament for collegiate players like me and hopefully like you. If you have not joined in the CBO Daylong tournament and you are a collegiate player, you need to get in on this, y'all. All you need to do to join is you go to the description box below and down there there is a link where you can sign up for the CBO Daylong and within 24 hours after you put your information in, you will be on the CBO Daylong list. And what you get with the CBO Daylong is amazing. You get 20 free boards of bridge a day, 12 of them just declare, 8 of them normal bridge, right, with the bidding and everything. Um, and you're going to be playing against robots, and you are going to be compared with scores against all of the other collegiate players. It's got rankings for the schools and everything. And there is a special uh, event that happens every 1st and 15th of each month that allows you to win Amazon gift cards and Master Points. So, there is a lot to offer here. Let's take a look at today's CBO Daylong. Let's get into it last one I did we were dropping stiff kings like everywhere we looked so it just felt really good let's see if we can hit another one I think we came first too that was really good so um let's get into this one and wish me luck <laughs> All right, so we are looking good and ready, um, and we're off to a great start here. Partner has opened one heart, and I have a game-forcing hand with five hearts, singleton spades, ace-king, ace-king in the other suit. So this is, like, really good. We're going to start off with a three spades bid, which is a splinter. It's game-forcing, showing values, and a singleton or void in spades, um, and it's showing support for hearts. Partner just bids four hearts, and I'm like, mm. Do I want to settle for this? Do I want to settle for this? I'm feeling a little bit ambitious. Hmm. Because, okay, let, let's just imagine hands for partner. I have a 14 high card point hand. This is a best hand tournament. So at best, partner is going to have 14 high card points. What do I need from partner for this to work? Well, if partner has the ace of spades, ace king of hearts, that is only 11 high card points. And they probably would like more than that to open. And if they have an outside queen, we could be making grand. If instead they just had, let's say, the ace of hearts, ace of spades, we're going to lose the king of hearts. And then two queens, we make flam. So I, I don't want to give up just yet. I want to inquire. I want to say, partner, what more do you have? Uh, partner says that they have two key cards and they have the queen of trump. So we are missing a key card that they have shown 10 of their points. Maybe partner has the ace king of hearts and that is uh, ace king queen of hearts and that would be nine of their points. They have to have values outside of that as well. I think that this certainly warrants us going to six hearts uh, and we're forced to go to six hearts regardless. So six hearts, let's see. And it looks scary. Partner has the wrong value here. Not that it's partner's fault. Is there any way we can maneuver this hand? Well, we're going to lose the Ace of Hearts and probably a club as well. Like, we really need things to go our way to not lose another trick here. So let's, let's just see what happens. They might miss pitch. It's certainly a possibility. Um, we'll just pay attention. Um, we are going to just play out the heart suit. Um, no matter what, we're going to need a few roughs somewhere. So we're not going to draw all the way, but we're going to get rid of their trump. We see a spade pitch. And we see, um, spade pitch and a spade pitch. These aren't all that helpful, guys, come on. We can draw one more trump and see what happens. This is certainly uh, something we can do. If we play another heart, it doesn't actually hurt us. That's a diamond pitch. That's kind of what we want to see here, is we want to see the diamond pitches. I think we wanted to draw that last because that was our entry over to possibly squeezing the opponents. So that was a mistake. But if they just pitched away a diamond that would give us... Yeah, this is going good so far. This is going very good so far. Mm. If East doesn't show out, then the Six of Diamonds is high. 
Oh well. We tried. We really did. There's just no no way to do it at this point. The seven of diamonds is what's holding us up here. And they can cover this, and they're not going to pitch a club. Ugh. Darn. And there was no squeeze. Both of them had too many spades. There's just... There's just nothing here. We can try to make them pitch all we want, but it's just not happening. Uh, I think that it was fine to continue on here. Uh, partner has so many hands that Slam can make on, and just this hand didn't work. It didn't work. So... We'll move on to the next hand. We can't go back. We are going to uh, bid one no trump here as we have a diamond stopper and we have 15 high card points. Partner is transferring us and they're trying to penalize. Ooh, this is fun. Um, okay, I'm just going to bid two hearts because I don't want to play in two diamonds doubled. Okay, looks fine. We have two diamond losers. A club loser, a spade loser, and possibly two heart losers if we get things wrong. All right. We're going to count the high card points because East did open and West showed nine points. Okay. So it's going to go... They played low. I don't necessarily want to guess all that much. How can I avoid guesses? Well, I, I kind of just want to play diamonds right now. Hmm, this is tough. Because we don't know what Honors West has. We probably just want to draw a Trump. And the most likely way that Trump is going to work out for us is if we play the Queen of Hearts and then uh, a Heart to the Ten. We already see East with a lot of values. So anytime that West has any Heart Honor, we're only going to be losing one Heart, which is our goal here. So I think we're just going to play Queen of Hearts. And the King was on side. Oh! All right. So West has the King Jack of Hearts, and East has the East Queen of Diamonds, I believe, because uh, if West had Queen Jack of Diamonds, they would have led the Queen. So that's the information we have so far. Let's figure out who has the uh, Club Honor. Okay, East has the Club Ace. All right. Goes Diamond. And another diamond. Spade pitch from West. And we are seeing the nine here. And I see an end play. No, there is no end play. They can just exit a heart. I still kind of just want to play the ten. I want to, like... Well, actually, no, this isn't good because it, it shortens my suit. But this actually might be a good strategy because I'm going to get... No. Why? Why is this a good strategy? I don't think this is a good strategy. Well, it could work. King. Oh, right. Now they just pitched that. Um, and now they only have hearts left. Yeah, that didn't go right. My brain is not working today. Ugh, I should have made this. Brain is not working today. I just needed to cash one more spade, and that would have easily made. Long trump suits are really hard to navigate, and somehow I'm going to need to turn my brain on. We have a total of 14 high card points. Balanced hand. We're going to rebid one no trump here. Two no trump from partner, and uh, we need to be in game here because we have two really bad boards, and we need to make up lost space, so I'm bidding three no. And that is the only way to make up lost space. And we immediately get hit with this club lead. But otherwise, it makes as long as clubs are 
four. So please, yes, please. Clubs are four, four, so we made our contract. Great. Can I just claim? It doesn't let me. Well, let's play on spades. To kind of see what gets pitched here. Do I even want to do this though? This doesn't work. It, like, if things split poorly, there's just nothing. You just have to guess who's going to have more diamonds. The spade split evenly, the club split evenly, and there's no other guess to anything else, so... Yeah, there's nothing else. Alright, we're fine. Made it. I'm sure there was one way to protect for both sides having 4-1 uh, splits, but I was not in the mental space to be able to do that. Okay, one diamond from partner. We're, we're picking it up. We're picking it back up. We have 14 high carb points. We're going to start with, uh, and partner's opened. I can bid two diamonds. This is two over one game forcing, and this is inverted minor. Um, which one is more important? I think we can bid two clubs and then bid two diamonds later. Partner just bids two no. Am I interested in going to slam? Not really. I think we just bid three no. Contract is right-sided if they lead a major. Uh, yeah. Switch to hearts, please. Okay, I'm going to take the ace now because I don't want them to switch to hearts. Let's play out the club soup first to see if things lie in favor. Okay, that's fine. And then it's going to go club, diamond pitch. Spade pitch, heart pitch. Heart. Mm. All right, they didn't lead heart, so we were fine. Three no worked. Wonderful. Uh, five clubs or five diamonds might be the safer contract overall, but we got the tricks that we needed. Now we have a total of 17. We're going to open one no trump. Partner bids stamen. They double showing rebidable clubs. I guess I'll just bid two hearts. Partner bids four hearts. That's great. I'm not going to keep going. All right, so we're going to lose two clubs, and that seems to be... Almost it. We're going to lose a spade as well, most likely. Unless the spade is on side. Eh, look, beer card at trick one. That's impressive. Uh, I blocked the suit a little bit, but I don't think it matters all that much. And we are just going to do this. Uh, let's do this. We can pitch a club instead because they didn't lead clubs. And there is a world... No, is there a world in which... Let's just play it. Let's just play the spade. Yeah, I think that there's no way to pick up that spade suit perfectly. But we're only going to lose a club at this point. So, whoop de doo Good stuff. Simple. Now we have a total of 16 high card points with a beautiful spade suit. Let's open one spade. Partner does this. We're going to rebid three spades to show a really strong hand, and partner is just like, nope. And I guess that's understandable from partner to nope. I'm not sure why partner didn't support my spades, but we'll never know, I guess. The other thing is that this is just down because uh, we have an entry problem. We can never get over to take that finesse. Best case scenario is that Stiff King drops. I have no entry whatsoever, so I'm just going to do this. Nope. All right. Down one. 
Unless somehow they let me get over there. Yeah, they had another heart. There's no way. All right. Fine. Fine. Down one. Everyone's going to be here. If not, they're just going to have yeeted four spades. So that is going to be a good board, I think. Okay board at least. And they just give us another spade suit. Look at that. Uh, we'll open this one. I think we can open this one two clubs and then rebid four spades just to show our sheer power. Well, does the robot respond well to that? I don't think so. The only issue I have with bidding one spade here is because none of my rebids are showing a super... Like, the best I have is one spade past four spades. So I think by bidding two clubs and then rebidding four spades, this is just describing a much stronger hand. And if partner has anything, they're going to keep going. The only concern I have is if partner has honors in uh, hearts... And we may have gotten too high here. That's always a possibility. But partner yeeting six no trump always gives me hope. Because normally when the robots are yeeting uh, slams, uh, we're going to be making it. And I think that this is just cold for grand. So let's just do that. On a non-heart lead, of course. Um, so that worked out for us. W probably back to even after our first two boards that were really bad. All right, one more. Let's see if we can get a little bit above average now. We're going to start off this auction with one club, despite the fact that we only have 11. Uh, we're just going to try to get a positive score in some way. I'm just going to pass the one spade and uh, see if we can get a positive score when others might not even be, uh, when others might just be in a pass out. Uh, this is not looking great, as we do not have values in our trump suit whatsoever. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five. We, we have four winners overall. Lots of losers. Maybe maybe it's, maybe it's I'm over-exaggerating. I am always love to over-exaggerate, but what do we want to do here? I'm going to play low, because normally they don't lead away from powerful cards. I'm going to play the nine of diamonds now and play my ace and I'm going to take this heart finesse because tricks and let's just play out the hearts and hope that if they trump it's with a natural trump trick and now what hmm do I just play a spade? I think I just play a spade. <laughs> Let's finesse. Oh, there's no finesse here. These are all equivalent. That's funny. I think we're still good here. Well, we're going to make, the question is, can we make any other tricks here, like, ever? No. The answer is no. I mean, our only shot is this, but the robots aren't going to mess that up. And then they're going to draw the last trump. And then, yep, all right. Beer card, but it's not enough. We got a last second plus score here that is just on the edge one spade making let's see how did we do i expect that the first board is going to be absolutely atrocious but boards following could be enough board one and two were very bad but we picked it up in the end here let's see provisionals say still negative oh my gosh people this was a negative score that's wild over six no, did people bid seven spades? I'm curious to see what more people did on this board, because if people actually managed to get to like seven spades, that would be awesome. But we'll wait to see. That board one just cost us for getting a little bit too over ambitious. Board two, I could have made. Um, so lots of things that could have gone better here, but we'll see. We'll see how other people did.
Alrighty, everybody, it is time to look at the actual results. We'll see, did our score go up or did it go down? Here we go. And it went up slightly, very, very slightly. We're up at a negative 2.7, which not great. It's just a little bit below average, but it's not atrocious. I want to look at the traveler for this board that we had with the six no trump that should not have made six no trump. It's still a negative score for me. What does the traveler look like? So we've got a seven no redoubled making. That is wild. We have a seven clubs down four, negative 18 imps. Oh my gosh. Someone made it to seven spades. Okay, so it's just since, like, most people were in actually in six no, which is kind of funny. How did people make it to seven spades? Two clubs, two diamonds, two spades, three hearts. Three spades, six no, seven spades. I mean, I don't know, bidding seven spades is kind of wacko to me, but... Hey, how did this one go? Two, it went <laughs> three spades, four hearts, four spades, six no, seven no, double redouble. I mean, what, I, I think that this was just a college student memeing, because that's what we do as college students. That's great. Love it. Completely support, and it got you a great score. Um, who else can say that they've uh, played in 7 no Trump Redoubled? Uh, so yeah, that was the scores. We came uh, 18th out of 30. Congratulations to our top players. We have Royal X in first place, 2299 in second place, and Ran Mitt in third place. Uh, the top score was a 30.5, which is, that's a pretty big score. I wouldn't be surprised if Royal X was the one with the 7 no Trump redoubled, were they? Yeah, 7 no Trump redoubled. That, that's going to get you a good score. Oh, it made 6 hearts. What happened here? Club. Heart. Spade. Spade. Heart, club, heart, they pitched the diamond for some reason. Oh, that's annoying. All right, nicely done, making six hearts. I hope you enjoyed the CBO Daylong video. I had fun making it. And if you are not a part of the CBO Daylong, please do join. It is a lot of fun, as you can see here. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please do not forget to leave us a like and subscribe to the A3BL YouTube channel so that whenever we post, you get notified uh, and you can join in on more of the fun. We post CBO Daylongs every Friday and It's Your Calls every Tuesday. We are restarting after the Toronto NABC. I had a bit of a video break, but we are back now and I am so excited. I have so many great new videos for you guys coming out, including a, a series of like semi-vlog, semi-hand analysis of what was happening in the GNTCs. I will see you all next week. Uh, don't forget to do all the youtube -y things, and if you have anything interesting to say, please comment down below, let us know. Uh, would you have bid seven spades over that six? No. I would not have. I do not have the guts, like, ever. So, um, everyone, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I will see y'all with It's Your Call.